We are back at 810 now with today's talk and something that really hits close to home for us. Okay, Savannah has been out sick all week and she just learned that it is pneumonia. Here's the funny thing about Savannah. She never calls out sick. No. Ever, ever. 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 So when it was one day, two days, and three days, we knew that it was something. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar joins us with everything we need to know about pneumonia. And we're going to talk to our patient, Savannah, when she gets on the phone. Which hopefully <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have her. Oh, we, we have go. We got, hey, Savannah, we, we, you never take Hi. out sick. Ever, ever, ever. How are you feeling? I'm, I have a terrible case of guilt for missing Aww. this week and leaving you guys high and dry. But, um, you know, I just I just got diagnosed yesterday, which was sort of a relief because now I can have antibiotics. And they say by Saturday latest, like, the fever should finally break. Oh, but, I, you know, I was talking to my mom yesterday. She's like, Savannah, you have not been this sick in your entire life. Oh, wow. And it's really true. I really have never been so laid out flat and really in just a lot of misery. The fever is the thing. It's not a cold. It's like I just couldn't get the fever to break. And um, so I've just been on round the clock like medicine to keep the fever down. And then I started getting this real bad cough. But honestly, I was shocked that it was pneumonia because I feel like I breathe pretty well. Like I'm not wheezing or anything. And um, I I really was kind of shocked that that's what it was. I thought it might be flu, but I I had the flu test and it was a negative. So I was every oh. day I would every day I would tell our bosses or I'd tell you, Hoda and Craig, yeah. you guys would text me, I'd be like, I'll probably be in tomorrow. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then I'd have another night of like sweating and freezing and aching and horrible. Ouch. And yeah. So and Charlie's sick too, so oh, he's been no. with me. He's like a burning hot appendage. He doesn't <laughs> want to do anything but just like sit next to oh. me. And, he wants me to carry him everywhere. Sure. So he and I are misery, and Mike is wearing a hazmat suit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How uh, contagious say. is this? Yeah. It, it is. I mean, look, you know, it, it depends. We don't know exactly which bug Savannah has, yeah. but, but they're all contagious, you know. I mean, coughing and sneezing and even the, the tissues that you use, you know, you got to throw them away and wash your hands. And, and Savannah, weren't you saying, I remember you saying that Vale had pneumonia, right, a few days ago yes. or a week ago? He had it, but it was like late summer, mm-hmm. and I remember marveling because she was very sick. And I remember kind of thinking, "Wow, I can't believe Charlie and I and none of us got it, and that's mm-hmm. so great." And then, so there, it was like two weeks later. I never dreamed that it could be related, but actually, my doctor said yeah. it could. It it could. Kind of hang yeah, definitely. The incubation period of some of them, like something that's called atypical pneumonia, sometimes it can be from the time you're exposed to the time you get sick and could be anywhere from like one to four weeks. Wow. So so the timing definitely could work there. Yeah. That, What's the difference between flu and pneumonia? Of. Flu is caused by, uh, or, or flu is influenza. It's a viral infection. Pneumonia typically is caused by a bacteria, although it can be caused by viruses and, and fungi as well. But sometimes it's not that easy to tell the difference mm. between a really bad cold or a yeah. flu and a milder case of pneumonia Jeez. because they, they're respiratory infections. Savannah, feel better. We better love you, Savannah. Savannah. Thank you. I love Savannah. Savannah. All right, thank that you. Charge, charge well. yeah. What if she just taking like a, a Monday? Yeah. Oh, oh well, get well. Don't worry so. about that. Yeah. What if she taking like a Z pack on Tuesday? Well, they actually, I think they did give her that that class yeah. of now that it's bacterial. She's day. she's eligible for antibiotics. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. They gave yeah they started her on. Does a on, cold yeah. actually lead? Can a cold lead to pneumonia? You can. Yeah, you can. Okay. You can. And importantly, and one reason why, we, why we're why we so proponents of the flu vaccine is that people who develop flu yeah. can recover from the flu and then secondarily get a bacterial pneumonia. And that and you can also get a bacterial pneumonia yeah. following a cold. Oh. Dr. Nelly, Dr. Thank, Dr. You. Wow. thank you. As we head into flu season, some yeah. special information mm-hmm. there.